Hi, it's Michelle from Lab Muffin and Beauty Science, and today we're going to be talking about hair. More specifically, I'm going to be talking about what Olaplex is and how it works. Olaplex is a brand that's been huge in the hair world since it came onto the market in 2014. It's the reason why my hair is currently this dusty purple colour and still attached to my hair after a single eight and a half hour marathon hair session. It's pretty much revolutionised hair bleaching and it spawned a billion imitations. There's actually a lawsuit going on right now over whether or not there's been an infringement of Olaplex's patent. Now, I'm not an employee of Olaplex, I'm not being paid by Olaplex, I've never met them, I have nothing to do with them, I'm just a cosmetic science nerd and there's a lot of cool science behind the product. Let's get started. Olaplex is a brand of hair products that contains a special active ingredient that can join up the broken bonds in hair. It can be added to hair colouring products to minimise damage, or it can be used as a separate repairing treatment. The active ingredient in these Olaplex products is called bisaminopropyl diglycol dimaliate, and it looks like this. This little guy is the reason why Olaplex works to restore hair that's been damaged from too much bleaching, too much heat styling, or just being beaten up over time. But to understand how it works, we're going to have to have a closer look at the structure of hair and what happens when you bleach it. If you've ever looked at hair products, you'll know that the word protein is thrown around a lot which makes sense because hair is mostly made of protein. It's mostly a protein called keratin, which you've probably heard of before. Nails are made of the same keratin as hair. Proteins are really long chains of amino acids, and keratin contains a whole bunch of an amino acid called cysteine, which is special because it contains sulfur atoms, which have the symbol S. These sulfur atoms can make two bonds, and when they're oxidized, like from being exposed to oxygen in the air, they'll form bonds with each other like this. It's like they're holding hands. These are called disulfide bonds because they have two sulfurs. Sometimes they're also called cysteine. Inside the hair, all of these microscopic little disulfide bonds join the hair together like glue, so you end up with really strong hair. This glue also sticks hair together and gives it its shape, whether it's curly or straight. The reason that natural hair is coloured is the melanin pigment, which has a structure which looks a bit like this. In chemistry, this is called a conjugated system, with alternating double and single bonds, and this means that it's really good at absorbing light. Black hair, for example, absorbs all of the colours of light. But if you break this conjugation, the melanin pigment can't absorb light anymore, so it ends up looking white. Within hair bleach, there's an alkali like ammonia and hydrogen peroxide to break up the melanin. But it takes a bit of time for the bleaching to work, and because the bleach mixture is so reactive, it can react with other bits of your hair in the meantime, such as your strong keratin proteins. In practice, up to about half of the disulfide bonds in your hair can be broken during a severe bleaching session. Normally, if you expose your hair to oxygen, the sulfur-sulfur bonds will eventually form again. But just to really mess with your hair, hydrogen peroxide can actually cap off the sulfur, so it can't form these disulfide bonds again. To mess up your hair even more, peroxide can also react with other amino acids, and it can also break up the peptide bonds that are joining each of the amino acids together in your hair. And so, eventually, you end up with weak, brittle, damaged hair. The ingredient in Olaplex, which is bisaminopropyl diglycol dimaliate, can actually join the sulfur atoms in your hair back together again. It reacts with the sulfur atoms through a reaction called a Michael addition, and it acts as a linker between the two sulfurs. The two maleate ends of the Olaplex complex join to a sulfur atom each, and the bisaminopropyl diglycol part joins it all together. So you end up with joined up sulfur atoms. The really nifty thing is that this reaction between the Olaplex ingredient and your hair 
happens much faster than the reaction where hydrogen peroxide caps off the sulfur and stops it from reacting. So when the Olaplex is mixed in with the hair bleach and applied to hair, it actually forms these bridges and stops the capping reaction from happening. So the damage during bleaching, that's usually irreversible, isn't irreversible anymore, which is pretty cool. It's so good at preventing damage that my coarse black Asian hair could be dyed to white in one long sitting without it all breaking off. I can still heat style it, I can gently comb it while it's wet, and it doesn't break off when I brush it. Before Olaplex came along, I wouldn't have been able to get my hair to this colour while leaving it in a reasonable condition. To make the bleached hair even stronger, there are a few more steps of Olaplex, still with the same active ingredient and the same mechanism of action. After bleaching with step 1, there's step 2, which is applied to your hair for 10 to 20 minutes after the bleach is washed out. This joins up more of the cysteine sulfur atoms. After that, there's step 3, which is a take-home treatment with a lower concentration of Olaplex, which is applied for about 10 to 20 minutes again, and then rinsed out. There's also a new shampoo and conditioner, imaginatively named 4 and 5, that also contain the same active ingredient, and they work the same way. It isn't just bleaching that you can use Olaplex for, it will work whenever broken disulfide bonds are an issue, which is a lot of things. Pretty much all types of hair damage will break sulfur-sulfur bonds. For example, if you use high pH alkaline products like hair dye or high pH shampoos, if you have thermal damage from using too much heat on your hair like hair curlers and hair straighteners and blow dryers, if your hair gets exposed to visible and UV light from the sun, when you brush and style your hair, especially when it's wet and fragile, you can end up with lots of mechanical damage. This also happens if you vigorously rub your hair dry with a towel. If you use other chemical treatments on your hair, like perming and straightening, in all of these cases, an Olaplex hair treatment can help repair the damage. It'll soften and strengthen damaged hair, and it can restore the texture of natural curls. You can even use it to tame beards. The bonds that the Olaplex forms in the hair are claimed to be permanent, and supposedly it won't wash out. But like the original disulfide bonds, they can still break, so over time your hair can still deteriorate in condition. And that's all for today. If you want to find out more, you can look at the Olaplex blog post that I've linked in the caption, which has a bit more detail about all of this. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to my channel. You can also find out more about the science behind other beauty products in my blog, and you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram for beauty science tips. See you next time for more beauty science.